took their demands for prison reform to the state capitol, motivated by those deadly riots at the Lee Correctional Institution last month. Our Georgia Reed Godfrey shows us how they are keeping the pressure on. Activists from several different organizations were here this morning to speak with lawmakers about their concerns following that deadly fight at Lee Correctional. They're calling for sentence reform, an increase in staffing, and a change in attitude. I asked for the warding, warden resignation because I felt that he didn't need to be there anymore because of uh, those guys that died in that prison. Activists are putting pressure on lawmakers after a prison fight that left seven inmates dead. Some want more money invested into staffing and programs for inmates to help with the rehabilitation process. If the state of South Carolina has millions of dollars to put up netting, then those dollars should be spent to staff the educational program. Others who say they've been contacted by inmates say they worry about the treatment behind bars. They're being kept on lockdown. They're not getting proper food. They're being denied showers. The groups have visited Lee Correctional a few times since the fight with hopes of getting a glimpse inside and say they will keep trying until they succeed. And we're not going to quit until they are heard. And if necessary, we will unseat uh, those who do not uh, express our interest and uh, take our causes to heart. Lawmakers are reviewing a bill that would reform sentencing here in South Carolina. For example, it would cut down that mandatory serving time from 85% to 65%. However, lawmakers do not think that bill will pass this session. In Columbia, George R. Godfrey, 7 News. Time is running out on this session. We did reach out to the Department of Corrections about the concerns that these groups have. We'll let you know when we hear back from them.